Pharmaceutical industry and companies make decisions of where they're going to move drugs forward, where they're going to do their research. Uh, so, for example, we've got uh, Roche Genentech, which has Bevacizumab. That's an angiogenesis inhibitor that was first developed by Genentech in the United States for the most part, and then spread to Europe. In contrast, the newer drug, Aflibercept, or what's called Ziv Aflibercept, is, uh, was developed uh, by Sanofi and Regeneron primarily in Europe and much less so in the U.S. So by joining forces or coming together here, we learn about the experience with a drug that we use very infrequently in the United States. It is approved in the United States, but most of the research was done here in Europe, and we get a chance to learn about that and exchange ideas with our, our colleagues that have used the drug. Uh, you know, the choice of how you treat patients is largely driven by by factors uh, that are different in the different continents. In the U.S., it's very much driven by guidelines, much less impact of pharmaceutical industry. And frankly, in Europe, there's much more impact of the pharmaceutical industry. Different countries and different regions tend to have different biases. I'm not sure which one is right or wrong, but, uh, but we, we inform each other by having meetings like this.